Welcome to the road to Glasgow here on the Tartan Couch from the 92nd Australian Athletics Championships and Commonwealth Games Trials. And Lynchy, that's day one done. What was your highlight? I've got to say, just the the class shown in the, in the 800 metres by the men, Ralph, Rowe, Risley, just taking it through easy. Even the class shown by the top athletes in the women's 1500, just getting into the front and just holding their own and making sure they get through comfortably. We want to go through the highlights package for you. We're going to be doing this each and every day. So let's have a look at some of the best bits of day one from the 92nd Australian Athletics Championships and Commonwealth Games Trials. To the home straight in second place. She's very strong early, but it's the three New Zealanders in a straight line. There's Brooke Carl on the inside taking that, could take that automatic qualification space. Caitlin Sargent switching off, very comfortable. Brooke Carl in second. And Alicia Keir is going to take third. She's going to have to wait. 54.07 unofficial for Caitlin Sargent. Beth Vanderwall on the inside. And the other Queenslander, Emily First, fighting it out for that automatic space in the final. Looks like Emily First is just sneaking in front. And Lisa Ruby looks like she's got this one wrapped up. Switching off over the line. 54.35. Emily First in second. Beth Vanderwall. Way out there in lane seven. She heads into the straight. Morgan Mitchell, very strong home, pulling past Louise Jones. Ali Bartholomew trying to hold on. Leanne Hodge coming back. But Morgan Mitchell and Louise Jones have those first two automatic spots. And Ali Bartholomew from New South Wales in third. 53.99 unofficial. Alex Beck, very comfortable in Tama Tokyo. These two are going to enter in the straight. These look like your automatic qualifiers. The Hong Kong athlete on the outside, very strong in the last stages. Moving very quickly. The athletes on the inside will need to start winding it up. The Tama Toki, 47-48. On even pegging with James Kermon, moving very quick. Diet starting to tie up there, getting a little bit lactic. Dylan Grant has the lead. Kermont on the outside, moving very fast home. Looks like he can take second. There it is, 48.00 for Dylan Grant to take out the automatic. Looks to enter the home straight on even terms with Kurt Mulcahy. He's got the 100 metres to go. Chris Bally running very quick on, lane, on the inside, but Kurt Mulcahy on the outside is moving quickly. Can Ian Douglas catch up and grab that other spot. Burns, 47.04, very tight for second place between Douglas and Kurt Mulcahy, but Enter the home straight in the lead with Stephenson, Stewart, Carew and Rowe working very, very hard as they enter the home straight. There's Sean Rowe on the inside, he's found a bit of form. The Japanese run on the outside's moving fast. John Stephenson, can he come home through the middle? There it is, very, very fast. Just here, as they enter in the straight, there's Steve Solomon watching. He's very strong. He should coast all the way through. He's had a look at Clay Watkins on here, that side. Clay Watkins looks like he's got that other spot tied up. Steve Solomon, very comfortable. Luke Grimley on the outside. 47.60 for first. So this is the women's long jump ambulance presentation, sorry, and Jody Elkington taking the gold. Catherine Proudfoot from the ACT in silver. And Katie Parrish with the bronze. Gurr in third position, rounding out the top three. Here comes Ralph, just putting on the afterburners just for about 20 metres. He looks around, he's doing it comfortably. Ralph will stroll across the finish line here. 
just edging out Peter Bull. And then there's James Gurr in third position. Eddie Vining from Victoria in fourth position. Risley looking very comfortable. Harrick, a different pitcher there. But those red shoot athletes out the front should take those first two spots. Risley very comfortable. Watkins has got third, locked down, and Pettigrew is still fighting. But 148, 149, 44. Very, very comfortable for Jeff Risley. Western Row. Looks like Rowe wants to win it, though. Rowe's going to move up along West. He can test himself out here. In third place, it looks like Mitchell Thompson and Stephen Nucky are fighting out for that third spot. 149.65 for Rowe. West in second. It'll be a really good field here and um, certainly it'll be interesting to see how they go. Well, just behind McKnight there and Duncan back in fourth, but these... These four athletes, they've got it easy. Kelly Young back there, 20, almost 15 metres back in fifth place. Another 10 back to Rose Davies. Four twenty-one eighty-nine for McKnight there. All right, we've got a bit of action coming down to the back out there. Still in fourth place, but Karina Cleland has moved into, she's about to move into fourth place now, leaving Athar behind, and Emily Augustine stuck there back there in sixth place, but 4.20.46, couldn't split the first through few over the line. So, Lynchy, some great action there. Day two is coming up tomorrow. Will you be back? I'll be back, mate. Don't be scared. If you're around the Melbourne area, come on down to Albert Park. Catch it live. Yeah, and if you can't be here in person, the live stream will be happening once again. We'll be kicking off from 4 p.m. tomorrow, catching the afternoon and evening session. And if you want the live updates for the rest of the action throughout the day, just jump onto athletics.com.au and hit on the live results tab there, and you'll be able to stay up to date with all the action here at the 92nd Australian Athletics Championships and Com Games Trials. And don't forget, you can also jump on to Twitter, follow the event on the hashtag AAC14, and you can also get in touch with us with the hashtag Tartan Couch. That's been day one. We'll see you again tomorrow.